Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Seeds of Liberty podcast, episode 55. As always, the Seeds of Liberty podcast is covered by a BIPCOT no government license. This allows for reuse by anyone except for governments and the agents thereof. You can find out more information about this at BIPCOT.org. Single, single. So, <laughs> so, uh, so this week, Danilo has bowed out. He's uh, got much more important things to do, apparently, again. Uh, but that's a... Mean. Yeah, no, no, that's not Danilo style. Um, but we have uh, we we have a, we have a nice replacement, so uh, we'll we'll be fine. We have uh, Paul Collier from the Disassociation Nation joining us tonight. Hey, Paul, thanks hey, for uh, filling in for Danilo. Um, it's not quite the soul patch, but uh, we'll make do. Um, and uh, it's, it's the soul uh, forest right there. Soul <laughs> forest. There you go. Yeah. And we have uh, a returning guest. Uh, our friend Mandy, who is back from episode, gosh, what was that? Somewhere in the early 20s, 12, maybe? Yeah. Well, oh, even even near the, wow. Yeah, Long time ago. 12, 13, uh, 14, something like that. Uh, yeah, it was yeah, really. It was, no, it was, it, was somewhere, it was somewhere way back at the beginning, because you, uh, you were the first member yes, of the group. the group. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, first, the, first, the first person who came forward and actually said we had something to do with your transition, <laughs> which just kind of blew our mind. Oh, really? But, you, we, you helped her cross over? Apparently sure, we yeah. did. Um, did, like did John they, they help you cross over? Yeah. <laughs> what was it like when you crossed over? Did you see like lights in the sky? <laughs> what was it like? Yeah, they were they were black and yellow. <laughs> when I crossed over, suddenly a whole bunch of movies sucked. Like Top Gun. <laughs> oh man! I can't oh. watch this anymore. That's so funny. We were just talking about that earlier with with music uh, in a conversation oh, we were having because yeah. somebody somebody had mentioned uh, Toby Keith and Red Solo Cup, and I, I put the video up. And as soon as I did, I was like, I used to love this guy until I became an anarchist and realized. Oh. Now, I mean, country stars in general are usually you know rah rah we'll, America. We'll put a you know, boot in your ass. With, it's the but, American way. Yeah, but but I never realized how severe he is until I became an like I used to sing the songs too and it just never oh. struck me until 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 I until I crossed over and then I looked back and I was like holy crap this guy's a raging freaking statist like he just everything is about America 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 we're going to we're going to kick people's butt asses and I'm like Jesus man this is yeah, I can't yeah. listen anymore Two years ago, I was uh, maybe two and a half years ago. I was mad uh, about certain schools no longer saying the Pledge of Allegiance. Now I'm mad that they're saying the Pledge of Allegiance. Now I'm telling my daughter, dude, you want to listen to those words really, really carefully, girl, and ask yourself. I'm not going to tell her what to do, but I'm asking her, ask yourself, do you really want to say those words? Do you even know what they mean? Well, she doesn't. She did. Yeah. Well, that's the more that's the more important thing is they don't know what they mean. Yeah. Mm. Well, I mean, when you it's say the Pledge of Allegiance, you do it. It, 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 it really repetition is. fallacy, it's, and it's, it's brainwashing. Like, yeah. Everybody loves the flag. I don't <laughs> know why I feel that way. I just know that everybody loves the flag. I love the flag. <laughs> like, don't you love the flag? For being angry as adults at people who are like burning flags or stomping on flags. And, like, there's no. Oh, I was angry. You upset about it. It's a piece of cloth. Now, I was angry. Now, I wasn't one of those that said, if you, if you burn my flag, I'll burn your face. But but I was, you know, I, I thought, you're a total jerk. But I, You know, I was one of those people that when I saw people burning uh, flags, I would uh, just, uh, you know, I was just like, what are you doing? You're like, what do you, what do you, who, who are you trying to, minds are you trying to change here? <laughs> uh, and I, I think I still, I think I still hold that. Um, uh, oh, I, no, I, I, I'm not knocking Jeremy because I know Jeremy has burned a flag on camera. I'm not saying the way he did was like. Hey, I'm hey, not hey, gonna... hey, hey, Look, hey, 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 hey! Three I, flags, I, get it right. It three, three flags. He did burn it was three flags. Three flags. And listen, NSA, we're all just kidding. This is all no, no, no. show. No, no, hey, no, no, that, no. That, that's know, not for public consumption. No, I, that, that I, was a I property actually, rights video. <laughs> no, I, I actually think that uh, there is a place for burning the flag if it's serving. An illustrative, uh, an illustrative, illustrative purpose. There, there. If if there's an educational way, sometimes you would need to shock the system. Like, yeah. you know, uh, you know, people who have a phobia against snakes, <coughs> you throw a bunch of snakes on them. They're they're cured. <laughs> well, I don't so, know I mean, necessarily this about is like, that. This is like <laughs> flooding. Sometimes wait, 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 you have to. Are you are you a fan of snakes by any chance? Because I'd like to test this out. Wait a minute. I don't I know. I don't know if snakes. I buy that. <laughs> I love snakes, man. <laughs> I mean, Indiana, Indiana Jones got fire. thrown into the snakes, and he still didn't. He still hated them. So, but, but but I do think generally that burning flags is 
is is not cold. I don't. I mean, o- only in the sense that no, like, it's uh, hot. Man- it's very hot. <laughs> you know, I don't have a drum roll special effect, but if I oh, can, if 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 yeah, we don't have we need a rim shot. You need a rim shot special effect. Yeah, but um, if that was yeah. if that was oh, a on. sound on here, that was that was. There's an app for that. Of course there is, because we don't oh, we don't have that kind of production value around pretty here. Pretty soon so. there's going to be an app for everything. There really yeah, is an app for that, though. <laughs> no, I, I'm sure there is. There, there's, there's apps for just about everything. They're like, yeah, um, I read the other day. Yeah, there's going to be an app. Uh, it's going to tell you if you have cancer or pretty much any disease in 10 seconds. It's going right. to give you cancer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, t- what? It's going to have a 100% success rate. Who the heck every, is going to Everybody's going to show up with cancer. Hey, wait a minute. Why do, I, why do we all have cancer? I don't get it. Dude, you got cancer, too? I got cancer. You got cancer. Oh, my God. This is so awkward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, you have herpes. Yeah. But wait. Oh gosh, I downloaded that app, too. That's hey, awesome. wait a minute. Who have you been talking to, Dave? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm well, not a I mean, it, she it, said it's a lie. Long Island is not uh, that's uh, herpes central. That's like ground zero for herpes. There's, there's a lot of it there. There is. Uh, there, I'm sure there is. I I I have not studied the the, the nationwide herpes numbers, so I cannot I speak to that. I, yeah. know, I think I think Long Island's pretty much ground zero for pretty much any STD. If you ask it. The, right. Oh no, we are not the city. Oh, dude, you got a bunch of greasy Italians over there fucking like crazy? Yeah, you got STDs everywhere. That's ground zero. Holy Jesus, how many stereotypes wow. are you going to throw out tonight, man? <laughs> well, oh yeah. you know I'm what? trying to you rustle know. some feathers. That's we the, got, the we're sh- got, we're You know got, what, Dave? If you could get a, pub, a national public platform, you, you, you nobody would need to vote for Donald Trump anymore because you are breaking down those PC walls way better oh, than Oh, man. You know what? If you, can't <laughs> laugh, if you can't laugh at life, Don't, I really don't want to be your friend or really a part of your life. Donald Trump is going to look like Mr. Rogers compared to you. That Nobody will vote for Donald. They'll vote for Dave. No. You'll be oh, the boy. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Like, it, yeah. Vote if they, for if Dave. They, if Dave went Dave. Full, full-blown full fascist, yes. Maybe. <laughs> I'm sure I could well, push the really, right buttons. They, they just want somebody rude who will cut people's heads off. If you can convince them that. Dude, you're in, man. Done. Oh, people's heads off, and I will be rude. Dude, you're my guy. You're my guy. Yeah. I think it's a sound platform. I think uh, I could pretty much run on an uh, anti. Uh, um, just uh, you could just all you'd have to run it. Make your own party. Call it the American Party or the American Patriot Party. One or the other. Uh, get a senator to endorse it and swap over, and then support you as president. And boom, oh, you're in. I no. think if you start a leave us the hell alone and take this boot to the face party, I think that you could get somewhere with that. Seriously, with that I mean, exact name. No. Nah, if I anybody I mean, has I any be a political presidential I don't be aspirations, I don't want to ever be involved in politics ever. So. Yeah, I tried to play that game. It's uh, it's not worth it. Um, but uh, yeah. so. Well, but now, now that we've gone all over the place to start, uh, <laughs> um, the one the one thing I wanted to get back to on the we were we were talking about the whole the the flag and everything because the one thing that I, I actually remember that, that it was weird because we were talking about the flag burning and and I've done you know flag burning obviously but as you pointed out I mean I did it for educational purposes it wasn't for the shock and awe oh okay part of it was for the shock and awe and it was fun for me to do um but flooding it, is good man <laughs> flooding is good but it was it was completely you know the entire thing was about prop. About property rights, and it was it was it was trying to illustrate the 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 point that this is not this has nothing to do yeah. with, with sacred idolatry and all this crap. No, it's a this property. This is my right. property. I can exactly. choose to burn my property. Right. But what I, it, the funny thing is, is is when I look back, even in my days as a hardcore statist, like the flag burning never bothered me then, only because I was. I was brainwashed into the free speech and and all this stuff and and th- these things you know these these things the state passes down were matter. You some kind of commie? Well, is that where you uh, were? Some kind of commie? Uh, apparently, because these, these right. idiots idiots don't realize that well, free that's speech. That's what they would say. Yeah. Free, free speech is a state construct because you don't you don't have absolute free speech anywhere. That's that's, that's insane. You can't walk into my house and say whatever the, the hell you want. You'll be finding yourself out on your ass very quickly. You know, I, so I, so when people I, talk about free speech, free speech, free no, that is one of those rights that the government granted you. I, I because it doesn't it. exist in it doesn't exist in a well, free right. society. 
it's you can say nice what you want. To. You could say what you want, but there's going to be repercussions for it. Whereas it's not, you know, it's not protected and whatever. But I, I didn't get a, so I didn't get offended because I fell for all that garbage. Because I said, oh well, the Supreme Court said it's okay, so it's okay. Um, I actually was more bothered by people who wouldn't say the pledge and stand at like baseball games. If you and can't stuff like stand that. for the pledge, I can't stand for your freedom. Yeah, exactly. That was that. That was my attitude. Well, yeah, I mean, I oh, hold up, hold up. What was you saying, Mandy? Go ahead. That was big. Like there was people, like there were people who like wouldn't stand for the pledge. And I remember one of the teachers like bringing it up, and he was he said, "Well, what gives them that right?" He's like, um, you know, he was saying that that the country gives you the right not to stand during the pledge. And I like I agreed with it. And now I think back, and I'm just like, that's so like. How does how does a group of people give give me a right to not do something? <laughs> my, my grandfather, Listen, fought you were allowed. Right. You were allowed not to do this. It's okay. If we hadn't told you, you'd be in trouble for not doing it. But we I said might, it's okay. I might start a new anti-flag campaign and replace all the stomp my flag, I'll stomp your ass with the Nazi flags, and just replace all of them <laughs> with Nazi flags instead of American flags. Yeah. And then just yeah. be like, do you understand how we see it now? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I just well, ordered no. an agorist flag from uh, Without a Ruler. Oh, so yeah, I did you? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, run a, I run a news site, and we started the – I. it's called the Tioga Freedomist, and we run the Freedomist, the Tioga Freedomist, and we started it before I crossed over, mm -hmm. Mandy, before <laughs> I crossed over. So you'll forgive me. It's <laughs> it's 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 still called a Bill of Rights initiative. So everybody on our Facebook page, they want to mouth off and say whatever they want, and they're always like, you, "You're for the First Amendment, but you don't let us say what we. You're not really for free speech." And I always have to explain to them what you just said, Jeremy. You know, yeah. if you come into my freaking living room and start saying rude crap, I'm gonna send you out. Yeah. This Facebook page is my freaking living room. Oh Seriously. yeah, it's real voluntarist yeah. of you to ban me from this group. It's like, look, who's Dude. admins on this group and who isn't? Well, yeah, it's it's well it's that's your a place. It's your place. You guys set up the the shingle and uh, open business, so to speak. It's your place. Yeah, but but like but see but what you were saying I, I about I will come into your place and fart though. I will. Well, <laughs> it's also more. You're Zuckerberg's not going to you're place, not going to be invited, so. sir. Uh, but, oh, I'm already there. Well, the, the one the, the one thing you said about the, the about you know switching out the the flags and those type of memes for for uh, Nazi flags, um, unfortunately, most of them still won't get it, for the same reason that what Paul was just saying about them not recognizing when you explain it to them. No, no, this is a this is a government thing that you're talking about. You've been taught to believe that this government it it doesn't. You were taught to you were taught to to accept this ridiculous contradiction that the government doesn't grant you rights; it just protects them. But it can still tell you what and what you can do with these rights and when and who it applies to and where. It's like, wait, wait a minute. So, is it them or is it not them? Did it come from over here, or over there? Like, no. Oh, you, oh no, no. It's okay. Just keep going. Oh, all right. And that's what. And so, so they'll see that Nazi flag and they'll just go, it's not the same thing. Yeah, it's or, because or, that was an evil state, and we're exactly, a good state. Exactly. Exactly. Or, yeah. or, or, or the more, or, or the more educated ones, um, or, or at least they, they think they're educated. Uh, who, I, who I've come across, uh, especially lately, who will be like, who will try to say, "Oh, well, you're just pick, picking the worst examples." It's like, well, well, no, that's kind of what you do. You pick the most extreme example to prove the logic follows right. through. But I mean, if we pick Czechoslovakia, do you nobody think would anybody would notice? Exactly. Well, They're exactly. Like, oh yeah, that's cool, man. That's cool. Well, exactly. Well, well, well I always uh, say countries have names, governments have flags. Not the Czechoslovakia. You know, Slovakia. like it's everyone's the, like, oh, you know, this the 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 American flag is the representation of the con the, the country. I'm like, no, it's not. America is the location. The country, uh, like the country, is just. It's not. It's not, it's not even. It's not even that because America is a made-up term that that yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that, just that, what that, people that, call it. No best beauty. The, 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 We're all Vespucci now, man. We're the, the, well, all Vespucci now. Well, no, but but I'm saying it's a made-up name that the that the collectivist here usurped to to make it to, to make the United States America, even though America is like you know there's North America, there's South America, the whole freaking Western goddamn hemisphere. Oh, I, I, 
I had a conversation with my friend who uh, he, he and I we we kind of crossed over together. It was very romantic. Ah, uh, <laughs> were you holding were you, were you holding hands when it happened? We were, we were voluntarily we were voluntarily look, and with each other's consent holding hands at the time. Did you look? Did, did you look deeply into each other's eyes? <laughs> Liberty. That's was what there, we did. Were there sparks? Yeah, there were. There were Spark, black and, oh, black and yellow sparks. You know, oh, beautiful. beautiful. Michael Bolton <laughs> on, on, going on in the background. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> but he was talking about. Uh, he was uh, talking about uh, how he was going to address people who keep telling him he 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 came from Greece, and when he. Uh, describe some of his beliefs. People say, if you don't like it here, you can leave. And he was going through this process of saying, listen, man, this is my land. I represent liberty. I stand for liberty. The United States of America is mine. I says, no, 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 no. Never say that. Never say <laughs> that again. The United States of America is a corporation that most assessionally, most assuredly does not rep represent you. If you want to say the, Amer the land known as America, these lands known as Ge America. Geographical Whatever. location but currently exactly. known as America. Yeah, yes, exactly. But don't say the United States of America because that is the well, machine. We're just getting into we're just getting into semantics here, which is one of my favorite things. So No, but it's I think it's a valid point. Uh, the United States of America is a corporation, and that corporation is most assuredly uh, taking a position that it assumes it has a right to define your rights. Well, when you say America, when you just say the word America, no one thinks Her. of Grenada or Colombia or Mexico or Canada. They think of the United States of America. Well, of course. Well, that, well they, they could, that's what I, I say. That's it. why I say these lands known as America. I, yeah, well, I just call it the patch of dirt you're standing on because that's all it yeah. is. It's, it's I, call it, I, I just say Earth. When s someone says, where are you at? I'm Earth. <laughs> By the way, my ta patch of dirt in the back is uh, filled with dog poop, Jeremy. Can you help me out? Hey, yeah, sure, man. You want to? Uh, you, you, get, you, you need got, to rake it up and start get, a compost, man. You, you, you got, yeah. you got, you got Bitcoin to uh, trade. I don't. I, I, don't, I gotta get on the Bitcoin train. Poop. Was it? What's was that, Randy? I said, don't start a compost with your dog poo. Why? Yeah, that's that's a very bad thing to do. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't do that. I was just on my way out the door to do this. Hold on. What's up? What's up? <laughs> well, it no. depends on what your compost is for. If you're composting for like flowers and stuff, it's, it, you'll be all right. I, I, I was gonna grow tomatoes. You really? No, you really? You you really don't. You really don't want to keep dog poop around for a very long time, um, even composting it. It's not, <laughs> it's not, a, it's not, it's not exactly the greatest compost in the world. Um, there's actually things that that I was going to purchase years ago for my business. I just never got around to it because I do manage to get out there and clean up uh, on a fairly regular basis. Um, but they have things that act like composters, but you put you put you bury them underground, and then you put the stuff in there, and it actually slowly. Um, Degrades because it has like the the, the biochemicals you put in there and stuff, and it slowly degrades everything. Because you're really not like if you just leave it out in the open, like besides the fact that it attracts like ridiculous amounts of flies and you get all sorts of different um, insect activity growing off of that, um, the bacteria in there is is not a very <laughs> is not a, is not something you want hanging around if you can avoid it. <laughs> Especially my yard will quantities. destroy the neighborhood. That's what you're telling me. Well, it'll. Yeah, well, I mean, if you have this huge, big compost pile and you throw a little dog shit on it, it's going to be all right, oh, I a, promise. A little. No, a little, yes. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. If you're composting just, like somebody like me who just, Oh, yeah, like, no, no. You know, of course week, not had, just dog shit. Well, that's what I'm saying, because, like, last week... It I isn't had, like you know, horse last, manure. <laughs> well, last week I had eight dogs here at one time for a few days. So, like, that's a whole lot of poop <laughs> over the course of a week. How do you deal with all that? Hey, you know, I don't know how we got into this, but this is a fascinating conversation. How do you deal with all the poop? I'm That's pretty what sure I'd I, like to know. I'm pretty sure you started this conversation, Paul, uh, by bringing up your backyard <laughs> I, what you, what you I, ran out there. So. I, I, um, I, I, so I, I get, get, Paul. Somehow let's get Dave triggered this. Let, I don't let's know get, how. Let's get back to flags and, and, and countries. And, and, let's and, stay away from poop. Poop no, is not wait, a good selling wait, that's, point. I, I think, I think you're being. I think I think we're being redundant by saying we're going to get away from poop, but still talk about this stuff. But anyway, <laughs> um, we'll, we'll we'll keep going. Um, you know, I I think the. Yeah, I, like I said, I use the I use the term patch of dirt because that's all it is. You know, it's it's not, it's people think they have this legit. You know, the, the government has this legitimate claim on the property and that and that they're all part of it. Um, and you know, I, I I step away from things for a while and I just kind of deal. Um, 
uh, with anarchists and uh, or and or just my dogs and stuff. So I'm not really around status that much. And I, I forget for a little while that there's still people out there that are that indoctrinated that still go that crazy about these things. And then I have days like today when I took some time to spend on social media and actually engage in a few conversations. And oh man, did I meet some crazies. Um, people, I mean, I, well, I mean, we can get into We're this at. even more crazy. Well, no, just in different groups, like uh, just because I posted um, one of the memes I, I put out today was the uh, the one about um, you know borders and walls only being for private property and not you know because I had a picture of the of the of a wall in Mexico um, where oh, so where's, where I, I actually saw that one guy that responded on your post. Oh, oh no, a, co a couple of people did, but it, the, I, I I picked that picture in particular because I don't know if you noticed, but in the bottom left corner somebody had wrote "fuck the wall" and really like uh, spray painted it. So I was like, this is perfect. I'm oh, gonna I put that. I didn't notice. I didn't yeah, see it's, 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 so, um, but yeah, people got very irate about this. This is one guy just kept going on and on about like two of them actually, um, in separate conversations started it off by saying sovereign nations actually absolutely have right, absolutely right, right, have a right. right to a border. I said, okay. So, and I, I tried to be, I try, I didn't try, like, I didn't go for like the kill right away with them. I was like, I actually, both of them, I asked a question. So, so, so you're saying a collective has rights. And neither of them wanted to answer that question. They found ways to dodge it, and then no, one of them turned. No, because they've been they're what communist they and they don't realize it. Well, was, yeah. Was that, was that many? What would make something a sovereign nation? Well, yeah, that was going to be my next question, but he didn't even want to get magic to that. Magic parchment, probably a magic parchment. You know, I see these. I, I, I see these. You know, these socialists. They're clever people. Uh, I mean, they don't make any sense, but they're clever. Uh, cleverness is not no, necessarily no, no, no. indicative of intellect. Uh, but they have these things where they say, you know, you you have a fire department, you have a police department, you have uh, the military, and you know that's all socialism. And then I see the conservatives like this is not this is not socialism, and I have to come in and say, no, no, they're right, that is socialism. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you guys, that that is socialism. Y'all's all socialists, just varying degrees. Yeah. Well, well you have well, your we your warfare socialists and you have your welfare socialists. Right. Yep. Am I, or, or you have your business socialist, and you have your welfare or warfare socialist. You know, there's 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 people are socialist for for their thing that they feel is really important in their life, and then everything else is evil. So well, everybody, everybody, they, uh, there's there's doctors out there that would go, yeah, yeah, I wish that we were socialist, but nothing else should be socialist. You know, <laughs> everyone that looks to the state to cure their ills is looking to give their group special rights and privileges and to deny special rights and privileges of other groups to allow for certain behaviors and punish other behaviors but they're all they all want the same thing they all want government control just well, not not of themselves but of you of you right. Dave. of you Dave. yeah and 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 the I'm worst, barely and the, in control of me so <laughs> well the, the the worst ones of those are, are are the ones that not only do it but they honestly think that they're doing it for the greater good for of freedom. everybody well, no, no, no. Well, no, 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 no. It is for the greater good, for. Jeremy. It's the greater well, good, actually, Jeremy. Actually, it's always the greater good. Even it's the whether greater it's good, the, guys. Whether it's the the it's democratic the socialists, whether, yeah, it's the greater good. Whether it's the democratic socialists who are doing it for the greater good to lift up the poor, or whether it's the conservatives who are doing it for liberty for, for for all. See, it's oh, the greater see, good. I yeah, yeah. Conservatives who who will admit like. No, it's for my protection. Yep. No, no. That's see, see right. exactly. That's the point I was going to make. What Mandy just said, because I've come across more of those people that they're not. They don't. They, they don't want freedom for all. That even the ones who, even a lot of the ones who say, like the conservative side, that will say they want it. They're still. A lot of them are still like anti-Muslim as a whole. Anti, right. you know. Right. Um, so, some of them are they're still anti protectionist for all, as a whole, you know, like mm -hmm. exactly. They're, they're, exactly. Well, they're, That's they're what culture they protectionists, and they want, they, they want, it turns them into fascist. But it's just a form of fascism. It's just xenophobia of a different level. Well, I don't know. I don't know. It, well, it can get into fascism later, but without the economic factor, there's no fascism involved. This is just right. well, they, it's, it's yeah, a uh, Hold on. Are you it's saying that currently they're, currently no, no, the I'm, United I'm States saying, well, isn't well, like no, majority a no, corporatist no, society? No, no, no. No, I, I'm saying what we were discussing right now had nothing to do with economics, so it's not about fascism. Well, fascism yeah, isn't it's always about, economics. It's a, it this, it, it, it this, but but Jeremy, the fascism word fascism isn't always, isn't always economics. Uh, 
Okay, fascism is, involves corporates and, and corporations yeah, and the state but, intermingling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, it's economics. Let, let, yeah, let me to, to hold on, hold on. Let me just, the let national me identity. Yeah, yeah. Let me just let me just let me just finish what I was going to say. Okay. The the um the underlying thing, even when you even when you remove the economics, is just authoritarianism. That's what it is. Like, and I, that's what it really is. It's, and that, it's and that, that scale, word, less I, or more. Exactly. And I, I've learned that word actually really makes a lot of people mad because I've started using it more and more. And they get very offended when you call them authoritarian. I'm not author. Well, sure you are. You want to have your will imposed on other people. Doesn't yeah. matter what. Doesn't matter what the reason is. That's that's the action you want taken. Right. You want your will for whatever reason, whether you think it's good, bad, you think it's the greatest thing in the world. Doesn't matter. You want your will imposed on everybody else in, a given, your in, a, in, in a given area. You know, these exactly. authoritarianists are just out of control. What? <laughs> authoritarianists. I, I, I wanna, by the way, I want to I, I yeah, defend yeah. Dave's, Dave's use of the word fascist. In, in the realist sense of the term, Jeremy, in a, in a political science uh, sense of the term, Dave, you're totally wrong. But uh, in, in, in how fascism is used today... I mean, I call people fascists. You know, you want to stiff your foot on my neck, I call you a fascist. And that is that's, kind of an accepted term now. There's yeah, but two, there's two, right. there's that two different... Make it, oh, come there's on, that doesn't make it right. I, said, I said that with love. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I would, imp I would implore <laughs> you to go check a dictionary. Uh, oh, and then, I don't oh, like that. Dave, 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 you've been caught in this too many times. Stop. Let's just move on. Um, <laughs> the, the, <laughs> it's dictionary. no, because like I said, it's, again, it has nothing to do, it nothing to do with what we were talking about. It's authoritarianism. That's the underlying principle. That, that really is true. Totalitarian and I, I, economics I and authoritarianism. Yeah, yeah I, I think no, we can agree. We can all agree on that, right? That's what it is. It's they, they just want Absolutely. their will imposed. And, and, and that's uh, – I, I posted on this one uh, stupid uh, group that I belong to. I think it's called Seeds of Liberty or something like that. Some group. <laughs> I've heard of it. Those, uh, fucking, those fucking guys. Those Jesus Christ. Those numbskulls. Uh, <laughs> they, ban, they ban people. I actually yeah, exactly. posted it there. It shouldn't be, you know, it's not Democrat, it's not Republican, it's not left, it's not right, it's authoritarian or non-authoritarian. And the and the Democrats, the Republicans that are the predominant parties today, they're all pretty close to each other on that yeah. scale. They they just again, they just want to impose their authoritarianism on different groups and allow other groups to be more free and other groups to be less free and you know, the, the progressives want to let everybody smoke weed, but they don't want to let you, uh, you know, open up a business. And the, the Republicans, they want to, well, within, within reasonable uh, expectations, they want to let you open up a business, but they don't want to let you smoke weed. So, you know, it's all the same thing. It's just different poisons. Well, I don't, I mean, I think that there's much more to the drug war than, than it being a Republican thing. Oh Sorry. no no! I was just oh, that was just right. one little yeah. example, but no, yeah no, 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 no I got no. I got I got what I got what you were, I got what you were saying, Paul. It, it, no, it, it, you're right. That's what it is, and and that's the fun that's the funny thing because when it comes to that, that's that's just another part of the indoctrination where there's the the scope of the average American voter um, is when it comes to these these the political spectrum is so tight because all they see is left and right. And anything outside of the Democrat and Republican left and right is is a fringe idea. It, no, no, the spectrum is much larger than just these two, and there's these little things on the fringes. No, the spectrum goes from complete for, for, from anarchy um, and, and, and complete freedom to uh, to complete to, to, uh, to totalitarianism to the opposite end, and it's everything hard. else and everything else just falls in between. And where, where, you know, whereas they, they see it as Republican, Democrat, and everything else is these tiny little pieces on the end. No, you have this scale, and Republican, Democrats well, are around is, here. Well, is the scale <laughs> subjective, though? Well, I'm sure, I'm sure it could. I'm sure, of course, it's subjective because everybody has okay. a different scale. But just in, just in the, the broadest sense <clears throat> the, of it, the paradigm is slavers versus non-slavers. Well, yeah, because there's, the, I, I, you know, I mean, we talk about this all the time. We, we, you know, a lot of we we do try to stay away from, you know, making anything black and white because there is shades of gray to a lot of things. But, um, you know, in this aspect, it, it there's not too much, there's not too much wiggle room between. Wanting to have a ruler and not wanting to have a ruler. There's well, a matter. Of, I, there's a matter of degrees of the ruler you would like to have, but you either want, you either think one is necessary exactly, or want yes. one, or you don't. 
that's about that's about as black as white as you can get. So and if there you, you go, want that, a ruler, that means you want to be enslaved. I, I right. mean, that's that well, that's yeah. yeah. So, I mean, and not I to believe, steal a line I from believe, Mark Passio, but I mean, he nails it on that. I believe most people want to be enslaved. They, they I know, they, no, I, I honestly they, do they as want, well. They want a gentler slavery, but they want to be enslaved because slavery means that they don't have to make decisions and they don't have to own their decisions and they don't have to take responsibility for themselves. But I think that America and other nations as well, other nation states, whatever you want to call them, that through through the generations that we have been conditioned, we human beings that live under this uh, situation. We have been conditioned to understand that we have a brute force over us. And it's kind of like uh, somebody who's been abused after a while. And maybe you're with a group of people that are getting abused by the same guy. You kind of develop a system to try to, to, to nudge the abuse towards somebody else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what Republican and Democrat is, is I want to nudge the abuse to somebody else. I don't want to end the abuse. Well, I want to point the guns at the other guys. It. Yeah, 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 don't beat me. No, no, Fred, Fred over there, man. That well, they don't realize good. they're putting the noose around their neck is just like they're putting the noose. The other per people think they're putting I, a noose around their, their neck. You I, know what I'm I saying? think they're they're like battered. They're suffering, a, you know, the battered wife syndrome or whatever you want to call it. I battered, it, um... battered person syndrome. Uh, they, they're, they're, they're almost shell shocked with the violence. And the violence is around us all the time, and we, we, we accept it as normal. A cop pulls us over, and he's got a holster in his – I mean, he's got a gun in his holster. And if we do something to tick him off, he's got the weight of the entire state behind him, and we accept that type of exchange between two human beings. There's something warped about accepting that type of exchange, don't you think? Well – Seriously. Sure. We, we we think that <laughs> normal no no I I believe normal sane people who have not been conditioned who have not been battered all their freaking lives you come upon that situation where you have two human beings interacting where one person is like you know uh, T Rex and you're like a little freaking hamster you say hey they hey that's unless not unless you know of somebody. <laughs> Well, um, yeah, that's not my point. My point is that we wouldn't accept that type of exchange. That's not the guy that we're going to have settle. A uh, well, majority uh, of uh, humanity does, so obviously we do. Yeah, because as a they've species, been battered through it. centuries of abuse. Yeah, it, it really is conditioning. Like, yeah. um, when my kids were in public school, there was one day where I went in. Um, I was like helping out in the classrooms, and there were police officers walking around. And I'm like, oh, why are they here? You know, like, it was weird to me. Like, there weren't police officers walking around when I was in school. Yeah, me either. And we don't live in, like, a city. We live in, a, like, we live in a suburb. Um, it's fairly uh, peaceful here. And I'm like, why are they here? Like, did, were they? And they're like, oh, no, they stop in once in a while so the kids aren't afraid of them. Oh, <laughs> conditioning. That is. That's conditioning. That is... Like. But like most people would see that and think, oh, that's good. But no, it's not good. It's do they do it's they terrible. do they bring do they bring gifts and prizes and fun games? Oh, I'm sure. Because it's probably like classical conditioning. So the kids will salivate at the mouth when they see a cop. Right. <laughs> oh, good things, good things, good things. Yeah, that's. I was actually I was talking to a friend the other day, and she got a phone call from someone, and um, she was she was talking and. Uh, the friend was asking her about like moving and um, about houses around here because she has um, she has a daughter who's got developmental disabilities. I mm. think she's probably like preteen age, and um, she was having some sort of like behavioral issues. I don't really know the details of it, but she called the cops for help, and she said that the cops were like talking down to her, like they were like acting like they didn't care what happened, like they were saying like the that the, the child was stupid. Like, they were, like, saying really awful things, and it's like, and the lady said, like, this is your job, but it's, I mean, it's it's not their job. No, like, not. Their job is not to keep anybody safe. Their job is to make as much money for the state, but they can. Enforce the law. Well, that, yeah, that's what I, I was going to say. I, well, I mean, it's revenue generation. Whoa, 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 whoa. They're not there to enforce the law. They're only there to enforce revenue generating law. Because if somebody robs you and they show up at your house and you report the robbery, 
the chance is uh, slim to none. It's about as much of a chance that but Dave that's... will wake up tomorrow and say, I'm going to shave my beard, that they'll find your stuff. Yeah, but, but no, no, no. Don't plant a seed like that, Paul. Yeah, you'll never say that. Hold, 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 hold on a second, though. Hold on a second, though. I would, I would say that that's it's not the same thing. They, they don't. Um, they, they do. They, it, they, that has nothing to do with enforcement of laws. Them not following through. They do enforce the laws when they are present for them. Because the laws, ter most of them do ter turn into some type of revenue generation. Them actually solving crimes, that's not enforcing laws. That's just them being lazy at the, at the job that they, everybody else thinks they're supposed to do. <laughs> um, so I, I, I would say Dave's original point is, is, is actually, because that's what I was going to say. I'd, I'd say that's more correct. That is their job. Their job is to enforce the laws. And by doing so, it brings in the revenue. Wow. Um, you know, and and they don't have to fight. They don't have to follow through on um, solving most crimes any more than a politician has to live up to the promises he makes on the campaign trail. Right. And the, the, Paul had, did have a good this. point. I mean, ninety six percent of cops that get indicted for a, an offense of some sort walk with no charge, oh, no. with no, with uh, nothing. I, no, no, I think you understand me. I wasn't saying Paul was wrong. I was saying the two points are separate. I think that I think they're almost mutually exclusive in this in this context. Whereas their job is to enforce the laws, but then on the flip side, they don't. Like I said, they don't follow through, just like a politician doesn't follow through because they don't have to. They yeah, well, have no competition. There's no incentive for them to do so. That's why in pretty much every sit major city across this. Godforsaken uh, land. America. <laughs> they, they, the, 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 um, <laughs> the arrest rates for the crimes reported are like abysmal. Like the, the arrest and conviction rates for, for the, for the major crimes in every city are abysmal. They're like 20 well, percent or lower. Think about this though. You have a socialist entity trying to solve a problem. It They're not can't trying to solve it. Exactly. No, 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 it, no. That they. The, the appearance of trying to solve a problem. Okay, yeah, I would agree with you that. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Like, they no, have, the, the, they're monopolized, they've monopolized a, a function of society. You know and what? They socialized it, and socialization never works because yeah. too many chiefs, not enough Indians. I, well, I, I, think, I think they catch a murderer every once in a while for the same reason that the government has the lotto. The lotto makes you think. You know what? Eventually, I might, I might, I might do it, man. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and then Illinois is. Like, you know what? Maybe there's still hope. There's still hope. Yeah, and in you know, Illinois, if you've won the lottery and you're getting payouts, now they're they're just sending you IOU letters. Well, that's that's hard. <laughs> what, what, yeah. Are, are you, well, hold on. Spend those IOUs. Hold on. Can you convert yeah. those to Bitcoin? That's all I want to know. Yeah, I, I would I sell so. off all oh, of it not. to. Sell off all of Probably your not. your stuff for Bitcoin. Well, yeah. Before, I, I, you know what? Somebody will buy those IOUs. Seriously. Before but before we get too far away from it, though, I want to, Mandy. Um, you were you know you were saying about uh you know the the stuff with the the cops and the the school with the kids. Like, like did did you? I I think we may have talked about this before, but I, I I'm sure it was off air at some point. But what did you uh did you did you say anything to your kids about that? Like, how did you address that with them after the fact? Um, did you ask them about that? Like, did you did you ask them? Oh, does this normally happen? Did you like? Um, no, did you get, the, you get a read on them? I really thought too much about it. Oh, uh, okay. You know, in my, like, senior year, they, hey. they put two patrolling police officers, and I never felt, like, I, every time I saw them, I was like, ugh. <laughs> I thought she was, I, I thought she was done talking. Make? Can I hear the sound again? I like that sound. That was nice. I thought she was done Can talking. I, I apologize. She, she's... <laughs> I wanted to hear the Dave sound. It was nice. Uh, I liked it. It was pretty sweet. I, actually, I was going to mention, though, that one time, um, I'm not going to go into details about the situation, but I, uh, there was Oh, a, no details. Who wants to hear that? I, I, I was um, confronted by a police officer, and I, didn't com I hadn't committed any crimes, and my kids were in the back seat, and they wanted to see my ID, and I, asked, I was asking why they wanted to see my ID. And they were saying that it's a crime not to show them my ID. And I explained to them that it's not a crime because I hadn't committed a crime. Dave, you actually saw the video of this. I don't know if you remember. Um, but my kids were scared. And like, 
And I explained to them, like, there's no re like, I mean, there is a reason for them to be scared, but if, if the cops were really there to protect me and I was doing nothing wrong and I was just asking and I was exercising my rights, why should my children be afraid of that? Because kids can read that body language. Exactly. They can read that body language. A body yeah, language when when like, someone is only wanting yes out of your mouth and you're saying no, they, that body language changes and yeah. that, that, the, the, the energy even changes. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, cops, I cops operate unconstitutionally every day, all day. So the minute they ask you for your ID, just know that your constitutional rights have already been pretty much been in a trash from the get-go and you might as well just give them the license and deal with it because you're wasting your time and you're potentially risking getting injured and locked up for nothing. No, I know. I did give them my ID, but I was just making the point that if they're there to protect us, then there should be no reason why my kids are like that afraid of that and that afraid for me because I'm asking a question. Sure. Well, they, well, yeah, but that's what, I mean, like they've said, that's what kind of what they do. It's the whole, you know, it's intimidating. I mean, they want, they, whether they will admit to it or not, most of them in, the, in those situations, they want to intimidate you. That's that's their goal. They're you know they because they well they have the halo effect as well. Well, sure, but hear, hearing no is something that they're only used to hearing from, or or they're trained that they're going to hear from uh, you know the bad guys. So you know it's that the the whole pervasive attitude of you know if you have if you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to fear. You know right. that gets set in with them too, like they get trained for that. Like anybody who's who's at, who's who who who's who who questions too much is suspicious. So you should be you should look into them further. But it's like, well, hold on a second. But just like like what you said, it was ridiculous. Like you didn't do anything wrong, but they demanded your license. And when you asked why, they instead of answering, they just told you that that you know that they basically had a right to demand it of you at any point in time. Um, even you know, it's the same thing as being you know the same thing as the ridiculousness of being charged with resisting arrest when your only crime was resisting arrest. It's like, yeah. what, what, how, how the hell was I resisting arrest if I wasn't being arrested for anything in the first place? <laughs> but but again, just goes over most people's head because most people are timid and most people do just cow bow down, but not for the reasons you said, Dave. Not for recognizing it for what it is and making the cost benefit analysis on the spot and saying. Yeah, it's going to be a lot less time. It's going to be a lot less possible pain to but just, just, it's just. Not a, no, no, no. My, my argument so, is so, sometimes oh, though it is it, it is a good point to do. Like, did you see oh, the no, video of the the cop who uh, arrested the reporter recently? I don't know, and probably probably some weird funky state like Alabama or something. I just picked that off at random, by the way. Uh, the <laughs> the cop was questioning surprising. the reporter. Right. The cop was questioning the reporter. Uh, he went into a public records office in the city to get records for this mayor whose salary increased by $20,000 in one year. And and the cop says to him, well, sir, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. And the reporter was like, no, no I'm not, I'm not going to leave. I don't, I don't have to leave. Sir, sir, you're going to have to leave. No, no, this is a public space. I don't have to leave. And the cop looked like he looked totally confused. It reminded me of the episode. Anybody ever watch Rocco's Modern Life? Yeah. yeah. I, saw, I saw a couple okay. episodes of so it. So did you see the episode where, okay, Filbert and Heifer got in a big, an Ed Big Head suit, and they went to Ed Big Head's business, and they're bossing people around as Ed Big Head, and everybody's listening to them, and they come to the one guy that they tell him what to do, and he doesn't listen. And, and uh, you know, uh, uh, Heifer's like, oh, Phil Burt, what do we do? And Phil Burt said, punch him. And that's pretty much what the cop does when you <laughs> give them an answer that says no. They're like, what do I do? Mm, punch him. Just punch yeah. him. However, you know. <laughs> and that's what he did. He metaphorically punched him. Well, he I, I, I don't think every cop is like that, obviously. No, each no, person, no, 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 no. No, no. I, 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 got, I, I got what you're saying. Yeah. That is pretty that, – that, no, I, I, I think that is actually pretty accurate, though, because most of them – well, at least – I have the I Dave's patented way of, of of I have the Dave's patented way of interacting with police officers. Uh, Are you? Am I being detained? No. That's you you greet think? them. You <laughs> greet them friendly. Ask them how their day is. Get a handshake in. Establish human contact. Uh, and then I don't answer any questions. So, 
Uh, you know, I've even said to a lawyer, I said, hey, look, man, do you see my lawyer present? You know, just confirming with him just to make sure he's not seeing invisible people. And he was like, no, I just see you. I said, okay, so are you going to ask me any questions? And he was like, I got what you're saying. And that was the last yeah. time. Yeah, and, and I'm just like really, you know, just really. ask you for your ID, you give them your yeah, ID. Yeah, but, you want my ID, you want my you know, insurance, you want all this. What, what do you ahead. have in your vehicle? None, None of your business. Right. No, no, what do you have in your vehicle? <laughs> I, I just told you. Do you see my lawyer present? No. So, yeah, I, yeah. Okay. Well, then I'm not answering any questions. So I, I normally it's just silence. Give them all your stuff and just sit there. Yeah. That's the best that... way. If you're gonna get the minute a cop pulls you over, you're getting a ticket. Right? Like they oh. don't pull you over to just pull you over unless that's not there's true. a okay. reason to pull you over. That's not true. That's not true at all. Majority can, of the I, case. I, of I the don't time. know can... if it's true, but I want to say that I every every single time that I have been pulled over, I think out of the thirty or so times that I've been pulled over in my life. Don't ask questions. Uh, maybe three times I didn't get a ticket. Exactly. I may be exaggerating, but what the heck? Uh, oh. Seriously, it's it's overwhelmingly I oh, get no, a no. ticket. Oh, no, I, I, I'm not saying that it doesn't happen most of the time. I'm just, I, I would just say you're not always going to get a ticket because there's plenty of times where – I mean, I've gotten out of my – know plenty of other people. Like, so it does it, – You it just is show them your breasts and they it let you go. That's, well, exactly. That's, 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 that's usually what I do. It, it depends. Uh, what usually, if you're dealing, with, Jeremy a, does. If you're dealing with a was, state trooper or a sheriff's department, you're usually it, screwed. It, it does, it, you it, might it, as well just not even – Again. I, I, I show them my breasts and I get two tickets. <laughs> <laughs> I should stop doing it. <laughs> That's why you're getting all these tickets, Paul. I know. You're, you're, you're I thought, making, it, I thought it was women's breasts that were forbidden. Well, that's well. It's, it's supposed to be what happens, but um, they. Uh, th I, I think you're making too broad of a generalization, though, because again, I, I really think it depends on where it happens. Because every state, every every county, every that's every true. locality, the the they are more you know to going back to, to you know circling back to something paul was saying earlier about you know the uh the different degrees of what of what these these two sides want even though it's basically the same amount it's just in different places same thing with the cops like in certain areas in certain towns and certain municipalities whatever certain things are more focused on than others and other things they're more lax on so it's like it really it well, really also depends quotas and all that uh, so you okay, might just get course. popped on one and well, no, yeah, and you're right course. they might be more strict like you might be going through one where they're like hey you know if vehicles aren't registered right all this you're ticketing people for that you know like well, we, yeah i, well, I get on. what you're saying yeah well and the only other thing is because and the tactic that you were talking about about not speaking at all I've seen that work for a lot of people, so I'm not doubting its 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 validity. But here in New York, that would get my ass dragged out of the car in a that heartbeat. That's true. You got it. Uh, if be I don't, if I don't speak, of your, no, no. Like I said, the, yeah. like here's how it goes. <laughs> yeah, the window goes down. Whatever. I I turn the lights on in the car so they can see everything. I'm not an asshole. I I have a carry license. I usually have a gun with me, so I set the gun right there. I turn the lights on. I the gun's right there. If you want to grab it, officer, during this transaction. Because the best way to do this is just to make them feel comfortable. I no, I, I get it. I, I, I mean, totally. And I, I'm not again. I'm not denying what works for you and probably works in a. I mean, God, God, bless, Jeremy, God bless the I guys that go out the right. cop blockers. Go, God bless the guy, the cop blockers and stuff that go out and do that. I'm talking about regular people that don't want to get fucked up. Because you go out and mess with cops, that's you're gonna get fucked up. You can't. There, it is a no-win situation to fuck with cops. I'm just no. letting you know. Yeah, well, I, I I think you're. They basically have impunity. I think your tactic, Dave, would probably work in the area that I live, uh, and, and and you know maybe you know honestly, if I see certain type of cop, I probably wouldn't try the tactic, but mostly I would. But honestly, if I was in Jeremy's world, I would not do that. Cause yeah. I think Jeremy. Yeah, you'd be like you'd be doing the dance. You'd be yeah. doing the the back yeah. of the hand, you know, hands in oh, the back well, dance. That's fine. You well, get, you get arrested I, for not saying anything, and then they have nothing in court for nothing. Dude, oh okay. no, they got resistance. But, 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 but again, you're talking. You were talking before, before about saving time. That does that tactic would not yeah, save me time. It would, would cost me more. You, but you're running on would, an assumption here that we would have to see actually quantified. No, I'm talking. It's not. A, it's an you're assumption not? that it would. Ha it's a, it's an assumption that it would you, happen you to me. Educated, but it's ha uh, it's happened to other people in my area, oh. which is disproving the the original pretty much absolute that you le that well, you levy, which is why I responded. I, so, I just said what's working. Anyway. I just said what has worked. So, man, okay. 
<laughs> I've just said what, what has worked well for me. This? It's a black and white world, okay? Exactly. Randy, what are your thoughts on this? <laughs> I mean, I live, I live uh, in the next county over from a pretty bad area, and there's definitely a difference, like, depending on where I'm at. Like, mm-hmm. I'll get pulled over for, like, where I live, I'll get pulled over for speeding, and I will not get out of a ticket. Um, if I'm, oh, 15 miles west, and I get pulled over, and I have some weed in the car. I'd probably get fo- like they found weed. They probably would just take it and be like, "Go!" <laughs> like they wouldn't <laughs> even ticket me. It it definitely depends on the area because. Yeah. I mean, over there, weed is nothing <laughs> compared to what they deal with. You know. <laughs> yeah. yeah have, Not that I have the weed on me ever when I'm driving. <laughs> you're just <laughs> <Or> saying. <ever. laughs> you're just saying that you know there's a comparison this- between law enforcement. And how they arbitrarily enforce? Yeah. Oh no. It was. It, but, it, but it actually. It, it, yeah. It, there is. It actually. What. What this. What this conflict here actually does is kind of reinforces our overarching point that this is all arbitrary nonsense. Right. Yeah. I had a really good thought. Now that you. You just really. This. Just came slamming back into the front of my mind. How can a. A United States citizen be subject to federal law in one state and not in the other, because weed is apparently legal in a few states and not in another and that is federal law so how can we be subject to federal law in one state and not in another that makes no sense to me and i i don't understand how this is working makes total sense derp because derp well actually (laughs) i mean no 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 (laughs) hey i i actually i i have a devil's advocate constitutional position on this there actually is there, there is there is a reason why why at least the ones who can claim some working knowledge of the way the system's supposed to work can make the claim um because of nullification because that oh, was sub- right. if you if you follow but, if you believe but the Colorado the, is not going down nullification line. no no absolutely not no no exactly that but that's that's why that's my point i'm saying the people that if quote, California quote, legalizes it, it's going to be de facto nullification. The federal government has basically even admitted it. No, I, I, I and I'm not. Yeah, exactly. But that that's that's the premise that they can claim. Well, this is how they can do it because according to the constitutionalist and being a former constitutionalist, I'm speaking. You know, from a place of I, I know I, I know we're how all this constitutionalists. You, you know your magic parchment. I, yeah, I know my pet magic parchment pretty well. <laughs> Um, you know, that was the whole idea that, well, no, yes, the, the federal government only had these specific powers. And if you dug deeper into history beyond what they, you know, ju- not, not, not just like as far as like we, some of us have gone now, but even just to the base level of like what actually happened during the ratifications, which wasn't taught in most schools. And the fact that like the one, one colony, like Virginia specifically, was not very really. adamant. What? What, well, was, well, the Constitution really wasn't ratified, but you know, yeah, but you know what? The, the, I'm talking yeah. about the conventions, the ratifying conventions. Right. Like, the, like you read what act, like the stuff that what some of the stuff that wasn't taught in school that even some constitutionalists find and then still can't take it to the logical conclusions. But whatever, they stop there. Where you know, Virginia was very adamant about the fact that, okay, they do anything to usurp these powers, we're out we're getting, the, yeah, we're getting the hell out of here. Well, you know, and well nullification was, was a long tradition until Lincoln. And Lincoln Absolutely. stepped on the neck of nullification, and then everybody quit stopping, talk, you know, stop talking about it. Yeah, maybe Lysander how... Spooner was the last hurrah. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, but quite a dry spell after him. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, and no. Then Tom it's... Woods came out, <laughs> and Tom Woods reinvigorated it. Uh, He's like that, you know. Yeah, but I, I, I think, I, I think that's. The people who who are cognizant of that can use that argument. Well, that's how we can. But the funny thing is, in that same um, in that same vein, they can't see that it's well. Why can't you apply that to everything else? Well, you have, but, but you there's have certain to, things that are off limits for them. There's certain well, things that are taboo that they will touch. Because because someone said so, we can't we can't question this. We can't even. This is set in stone, you know. And that's what authority does to the brain, man. It lets you believe. It makes you believe lies that just. Are, that's it. They're lies. There's no, they're forces. <laughs> well, most people are not trying to pursue an avenue of quote unquote truth. They just they 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 want their cut. They want their slice. And and they have been conditioned that in order for them to get their cut, their slice, it's like you know, Daddy Gov is going to beat on me unless I get I'll, Daddy I'll Gov just... to beat on someone else. Daddy I'll Gov just is say this, steal from I... me unless I get Daddy Gov to steal from someone else. It's that's it. They don't care mm-hmm. about anything else. I'll tell you this: if Donald Trump is racist because he's white, 
uh, then I guess all Muslims are evil because they're Muslims. I don't think there's so a you know. Life. No, no, no. That's that's why that's his thing. All Muslims are because they're terrorists. Well, no. Look at who's killing the most people on the planet right now. It's not terrorists. I, well, it is terrorists, yeah. but <laughs> not, yeah, not, not what not what the news and, and the TV is calling terrorists. No, right. it's the it's the government's own definition of terrorists that are doing you know, the most my, my, that are causing the most terrorism. You know, my yes. my friend Dimitri. By the way, you guys should have him on sometime. I, I got to get him on Skype. Uh, uh, if you ever listen to our show, State of Wake, you, you, Dimitri's awesome. Uh, but uh, he he has this thing that he does to really to to really pick at conservatives who are going after Iran, saying we got to stop Iran from getting a bomb. Or, we got to nuke Iran into the net. We got to make it a glass, you know, whatever, you know, make glass okay, blow or whatever, turn it into a parking crap. lot. And he always he he, he he asks him. He says, "Who's gotten in more wars?" In the la just in this century, just in the 21st century, who's gotten in more wars, the United States or Iran? Who has killed more people, the United? And I'm not, I'm not advocating for Iran. And I mean, that's another. Uh, you yes, know, you are. Of no, course, you are. I'm a communist advocating for Iran. I love Iran. And I hate America. That's what I get. You Iranian uh, commie, you. But, but it drives people nuts. Enjoy and the, the FBI the being at your is house, like just Paul. That. Like, well, I don't have to listen to this. You hate America, and you want Iran to kill us, and I'm not listening to you anymore. When oh, he just asks a simple question, and the answer is, America has killed more people, and America has gotten in more wars. So, so how has Israel? Say, <laughs> and, and 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 they say, well, you know, they have, if the mullahs get a bomb, they're gonna they're gonna destroy the world because. I mean, they do say some crazy stuff. They say they want to destroy Israel. They say all kinds of crazy stuff. And then, uh, uh, I, I mean, I've pointed this out before. Take and listen to our, pol quote, unquote, our, uh, our, uh, our politicians Just and some the, of the things the that they say. American politicians. That's how the many times? Well, uh, I'm, I'm, anyway. They're not our. I don't know who you're talking about. No, 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 they're not. They're not. So I, I did the air quotes, man. Air quotes, air quotes, our. I'm being, you know, I'm. I'm being facetious. How many crazy things do, quote unquote, our politicians say that make them sound every bit as crazy and bloodthirsty as the mullahs? Why the heck is America trusted with nuclear arms when we have Ted Cruz threatening to blow up the Middle East? He wants to murder everyone in the Middle East for the love of God. He's crazy. It's all a puppet show, though, man. That's all populist puppet show bullcrap. Like, like, ugh. I don't oh, want to go I, down the voting I, thing tonight, but wait a minute. You, you don't. You don't think we're not. We're we're, we're probably going to wrap it up soon. But wait a minute. You, you don't think Ted Cruz really wants to blow up the Middle East? I'm pretty sure that fundamentalist crazy bastard not wants Cruz to blow up the want, Middle East. I think Ted Cruz <laughs> wants to be president and increase his that's political it. power. That's and I think that he'll say whatever he he can to prove that he's a good puppet. So I, I, I you know I. I think they're all full of lies. They're all full of empty rhetoric. Just look at Obama. Just look at what he's done. Look at the well, president again, before I, no, him. No, 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 no. That, that, that's a, we, we've talked about this before, though. That, that, I, I, I that, that's more of a, a, a result of no matter what they say when they get when they go in. Once they get there, they're told this is the line you need to toe. Doesn't matter what rhetoric you you believe. The party sets your agenda. Absolutely. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You know, exactly. Exactly. You don't. You don't get to. It's not even the party. They once you're in the part. They try it's to tell you that. Beyond the party. Yeah, it's they, the they, party behind the party. Well, exactly. When when yeah. you're running, when you're running, they tell you you. When you get closer and closer to the actual election, they tell you, okay, there's certain party lines that you need to toe now. But yeah, once you get you in, know. then it's the as, as Paul put it, the party behind the party is okay now this is what you're going to do for the next well, four and if you're a good little boy eight years yeah, <laughs> just exactly. just if, if yeah. anyone listening to this conversation just t stop take a break go google the word iron law or well, the words iron law of oligarchy and read anything about it and uh you'll get a much clearer understanding of what we're actually talking about yeah. is it about unicorns because i love unicorns well, it's uh, within any kind of movement outside of the people in the top, usually eight. Uh, that's the oligarchy. Their will is usually uh, uh, adjacent or juxtaposed to what they're actually doing or what the members of the, a group think is actually happening. And it's true in every situation. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's Sorry. it's. I, I yeah, I don't believe that Ted Cruz wants to nuke the Middle East into oblivion. Nor do I believe the mullahs want to. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Yeah, Amber it's really alert. Bad. I'm sorry about oh. this. Thanks, government. <laughs> Thanks, um, government. Well, it's an right. Amber Alert, dude. It's an Amber Alert, and you. Oh man, this is gonna go viral. Jeremy, this is gonna. I go am a heartless fuck. <laughs> Deal with it. That's all right. We were gonna get wrapping up anyway. I think. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> on that note. Um, I do want to say um, thank you very much, Paul, for coming on and filling in for Danello. Um, this has been a pleasure. Um, and Mandy, um, we, I know you didn't get to talk too much because Dave and Paul just didn't want to stop talking today, but that's okay. I, was uh, I do appreciate Dave, you coming Dave, on. The beard. I get mesmerized <laughs> by the beard, and I feel like I kind of talk. It's like... talking, so, okay, so now, so now Paul's admitting to talking to Dave's beard. All oh, yeah. right, now now oh, before yeah. it gets really exactly. before it gets really weird. <laughs> oh, um, it's weird already. It's weird already. <laughs> ow, <laughs> ow. It's oh. weird. It was it's, it was good having you on. His beard is uh, it's becoming a sentient. Thanks for having thing. me. It was fun. Can, 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 I, can I can I finish it, please? So so but we, well hopefully we can have you back on again at some point and uh, we can uh, actually have um you you talk a little bit more. Um but I did appreciate your insights whenever you were allowed to speak. Um and oh, uh, allowed to speak. <laughs> Uh, hey, it wasn't me doing the allowing, so I don't care. I can use that phrase. Um, but anyway, um, this has been fun. So, Paul, is there anything else you want to uh, wrap up with? Any plugs you want to make before uh, before we uh, kick you off? Yeah, yeah. listen to the Disassociation Nation with uh, me and Niz uh, tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern Time over at fbrnradio.com. Well, this will be uh, I, this will be coming out Monday. So yeah, so fr uh, fr Fridays. Oh, you okay. Guys, fr well, then listen Fridays. to the next. Okay. Oh, okay. Then. If this is Monday and you're listening to this Monday, because we're in that world now, this Friday we will have the dear sweet Yak Emperor on. Yak so boy on. We are going to have the dear sweet Yak Emperor on, and we're going to talk some smack uh, that's going to be directed at some emperor and empress posers within the Freedom Friends Empire. I'm just saying. I'm just going to put it out there. I'm oh putting Lord. it out there. Some like inside campsite. ball game. My campsite at Forkfest is going to be a goddamn war zone. Thank you so much, yeah, guys. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. All right. <laughs> All right. Thanks, uh, everyone, Randy. for listening to this uh, <laughs> oh, Randy, fun you're episode. To this beer cast. Randy, Randy, was there anything else you wanted to finish up with before before we went? Um, No. If you okay. want to like my page, the pull-out method, pulling out of government. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, and then we oh we, we gotta get your other we gotta get your other page up and running, Mandy's World, which is going to uh, may or may not attempt to rival Dave's World at some point, but more details to come on that later. Um, already rival. <laughs> it, it, it'll oh, be yeah. better. This is well, yeah. I'm, well, I'm not a, I'm not a girl. Of course it'll be better. It'll be better. You're definitely but. not a girl. That's. <laughs> um, but anyway, so Here this has been... from the internet. <laughs> <laughs> only, only, only trannies. That's right. Um, so this, 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 uh, this has been fun, guys. I, I appreciate you both coming on. Um, the uh, anybody who wants to uh, check out any of our other content, uh, all of our stuff can be found at thecliberty.com, where uh, there's links to our Facebook, Twitter, uh, YouTube channel, um, uh, RSS feed, everything. Yeah, all that stuff. Uh, Danilo usually gives the pitch for the do donations. You can find all that information there. I'm, I'm usually more, 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 much more happy if people just like, share, and comment on our stuff. Um, and just get the word out there, and uh, just keep planting those seeds. And, and not vote and stop paying taxes. Oh, gosh. God, yeah, please, please, please. Vacate the state as much as possible. And if you don't think you're willing to vacate it a little, uh, just a little bit more, go for it anyway. Uh, just push, push, push the envelope. The more people we get doing that, the, uh, the quicker this thing will fall. So uh, this has been the Seeds of Liberty podcast, and uh, we will catch you next time. Peace. Peace.